I said that Rishi Sunak would be pretty pleased with these figures. I said that um, that Jeremy Hunt would as well. It's not quite as low as the Bank of England wanted it to go, but it's it's getting there, isn't it? Well, I must say 2.3% did surprise me. I was near 2.7% yeah. because there's a lot of very stubborn things out there like wage increases. They're still above 6%. And one of the reasons why I think people mustn't be too optimistic about this figure coming down very quickly from the current level is that you've got the services sector, Mike, which is things like insurance, mm. restaurants, pubs, all at very high levels. 5.9% is the level of inflation for them. So that means that inflation is still very stubborn. Yeah. But to have come down from 11.1% in November 2022 to... 2.3%, even though the estimate was 2.1%, in my opinion, is really good news. But as was observed on your wonderful program, it's still inflationary and we are still paying more and we will not feel any better until the Bank of England gets the lead out. Yes. And we've got another set of inflation figures on the 19th of June. And then, of course, the MPC meets on the 20th of June. And by the grace of God, They've got to cut rates because people are really feeling it. I know that house owners now, this is a figure that I know it's a little bit like an anorak, but never mind, it's quite interesting. But 40 years ago, 70% of people had mortgages. Today, only 29% have mortgages. But people are really squealing. And the cost of borrowing now at these levels is just unsustainable. Mm. And even though we know that the Federal Reserve, which basically is the pulse of what goes on in the world have said we're in no hurry and for really to expect anything from us much before the autumn forget it we have to act in my humble opinion in our own right i mean i think the ecb will be first and they will be first to cut rates and i hope we're not a million miles behind because we need to get rates down in order to get this growth going i mean one of the things that we've been missing dramatically is the ability for people to see that the United Kingdom is a great place to invest. Mm. And, you know, you've made a very clear point that you think Labour is going to be the next government, which I think 99% people believe they are. They've got no headroom at the moment. And whoever is in government needs to be very cognizant of the fact that business is what is required to make people feel better. Yeah. Any bounce in this for Sunak and, and, and Hunt, though, in terms of their electoral hopes, do you think? I really feel that they've got to do a little bit more. It's not so much the, the, the tax cuts that I think we can expect because I don't think there's any room, but what I think they can do is stimulate business. I mean, the city of London is very important still. It's about 12% of our GDP. And we need to have that more because we've been losing some uh, traction there. And therefore, stamp duty needs to go for investments. How can you take on the rest of the world when nobody else charges stamp duty for investing in this country. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's got to stop. And I think that is incredibly important. I think little things like cutting the tourist tax, which raises to the government, I think, about £1.2 billion. Pounds. We're probably missing out on £5 billion pounds worth of sales. Mm. I mean, I mean, uh, cities like Paris, Madrid, Milan, they're laughing their socks off. And who are the losers? London. Mm. London looks like a graveyard in terms of its high net worth individual sales and we are brilliant at it but we're just not given the chance because the incentive's not there no.